In this video from IT Free Training, I will look at the basics of how to create and link group policy. Understanding the basics of group policy will assist you later on when you create and apply group policy in your domain. When using group policy, you will hear the term group policy object or GPO mentioned a lot. A GPO is basically a single group policy. The GPO is stored in the container group policy objects. If you have a look at group policy management, there is a container called group policy objects. In this container, you will see all group policy objects that have been created. A GPO will, however, not have any effect until it is linked to an OU. Once a GPO is created, it can be linked to many one or zero OUs. It is important to understand how linking works. Otherwise, the GPO may not have the required effect, or if deleted, it may still be present in the system. To have a better look at group policy, I will open group policy management. To do this, I will first open server manager, and then under the tools menu, select group policy management. Once group policy management is opened, expand down until the container group policy objects is reached. In this container, you can see the two default group policies that are created when the domain is first created. To create a new group policy object, right click group policy objects and then select the option new. For the new GPO, I will enter the name New York printer policy. Once the name has been entered, I will press OK to create the GPO. You can see that the GPO has been created and listed with the others. Currently, the GPO will not have any effect on the domain as it has been created but not linked to any containers known as organization units or OUs. To link a GPO, it is a simple matter to drag it to an OU. For example, I could drag New York printer policy to the OU New York. This would link the GPO to the OU. However, in this case, I won't link the GPO in this way. To cancel, I will move the mouse back and this will cancel the link being created. The other way to link a GPO is to right click the OU, in this case New York, and select Link an Existing GPO. Once selected, I can next select the GPO I want to link, in this case New York Printer Policy, and press OK. Now that the GPO has been linked, notice it now appears in the New York OU on the Linked Group Policy Objects tab. This method requires the administrator to create the GPO and then link it, making it a two-step process. However, the administrator can create and link a GPO in one step. To do this, right-click the OU where you want to create the GPO. In this case, I will right-click the New York OU and then select the option Create a GPO in this domain and link it here. In this case, I will call the GPO New York Lockdown Policy. Once I press OK, the GPO will be created and linked to the OU New York. In some cases, you may want to apply a GPO to multiple OUs. For example, let's say the lockdown policy was so successful in New York that it was decided to also use it in LA. To do this, it is a simple matter of right-clicking the LAOU and select the option Link an Existing GPO. From the list of GPOs, I will select the GPO New York Lockdown Policy. The GPO is now linked. However, it does not describe its purpose very well since it says New York and is now being applied to LA. To fix this, I will right-click the GPO and select the Rename option. To make the GPO name more descriptive, I will change the name to Lockdown Policy. If I select the container Group Policy Objects, you will notice that the name of the GPO has changed in here as well. Group Policy Management does a good job when a change is made to a GPO name that this change is shown through all of Group Policy Management. However, this is not always the case with other functions. If I select the New York OU, I will right-click the GPO New York Printer Policy and select Delete. Notice that Windows will ask you if you want to delete this link. This is not the same as deleting the GPO. If I press OK, the GPO will disappear from the Linked Group Policy Objects tab. However, 
only the link has been removed, not the GPO. If I now select the container group policy objects, notice that GPO New York printer policy still exists. In this case, I know the GPO is not linked to any other OUs. However, if it were linked to another OU, the GPO would still be applied to all the users and computers in that OU. It is important to remember the fact that removing a link does not remove the GPO and there may be other links that still exist to that GPO. To ensure the GPO is removed from the system, I will right click it and select the option delete. Windows will display a message that the GPO will be removed and also any links to that GPO will be removed. It should be noted as well that if there are links to the GPO in any other domains, these links will not be removed. The administrator will need to manually go to these domains and remove those links. Once I press yes and then press OK, the GPO will be removed from Active Directory. In some cases, the administrator may not know which OU a GPO is linked to. If you want to find out, right click the GPO and select the option Save Report. In this case, I will save the report to the desktop and then open it. The report gives a lot of information about the GPO. In particular, notice the link section. This indicates which links currently exist for that GPO. In this case, this GPO is linked to the LA and New York OUs. If you are thinking about deleting a GPO and are not sure what it is linked to, run this report first and have a look at the link section. This concludes this video on creating and linking GPOs in Active Directory. I hope you found this video useful. For other free videos from us, please see our YouTube channel or webpage. Until next time, thanks for watching.